BCCI Secretary Jay Shah announces that there will finally be pay parity, gender equality in how our cricketers are paid. For the first time, men and women cricketers contracted by the BCCI will get the same amount of money, whatever it is, for the equal amount of activity. This has been welcomed across the board. Many people are wondering why hasn't this happened before. There's a huge movement as far as pay parity is concerned. So let's see what everyone thinks. So, Akshita, what did you think? Uh, I'm a I bit conflicted. I didn't know it wasn't the case already. No, I kind of knew because it's, I think, the case in every sport. Because you're a man. <laughs> <laughs> it's Shim versus the possibly, ladies. <laughs> possibly. Yeah. But I'm a bit no, conflicted. No, that's actually true. Possibly. It is. Yeah. That's the fact. I'm a bit conflicted by it. And let's name explain five why. female cricketers. Any of you? Between all of you, you've named three. So my point is actually taking the limelight at that point. 2017 is when actually India's women's cricket team really started a new chapter, and ever since they've been they've been given their due. You know, the only disparity was their pay but otherwise in terms of limelight in terms of contracts there it's up in the last five years did they so I, 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 I i'm a little, I'm a little conflicted for one reason shiv while you know i think it's a great step and and i'm saying conflicted because i believe that there has to be a starting point right when we ensure that yeah. things get on a level playing field literally the other reason that i feel that you know maybe this wasn't the best step is because when you talk about feminism and you talk about anything you talk about equality is men's cricket equal to women's cricket I don't know if we've reached that yet to talk about pay parity. I think what we should be talking about is fair pay, right? And I don't know whether that's different from pay parity. But, that's my only but, point. But pay parity is a level, so le level playing field. Exactly my point. I'm conflicted because yeah. level playing field versus being paid for what you're worth. Like, you know, no, we have to be paid for what you're worth. There's no infrastructure for women's cricket. So how can we really test their worth? But this, I think is, BCC, this is BCCI contracted players. So yes. Yes. So BCCI IP contracted that. players for, for eternity, the entire cricketing fraternity in India has been male dominated and it's, they're unapologetic. See, Even when the, it comes to pop the, culture, your Bollywood films, it's, it's all about male the men's parity. cricket. So this equal pay will give them a jump start. Some the pay parity is. between a man and a woman in any professional space is a reality of all spaces that I know of. In the game of cricket, however, when you're talking about 15 lakh rupees for a test match, 6 lakh for ODI and then for T20, 3 lakhs, it's great. Women deserve it. But the fact is, most of this revenue is coming from the commercial success that the male cricketers have their matches. That's also the sport in general. In sport in general, so that pressure will be on the women cricketers now. They know that a lot of this revenue from sponsorship, broadcasting views, is coming from the male cricketers' matches, and now they have to prove. Harman Preet Kaur has been a great captain. They've been winning the Asia Cup and the recent uh, ODI series against England. But the fact is, you is it just about women cricket? What about domestic cricket? We have cricket is as many call it a religion. Do you need to do much more than just say aapko pehna and not deya, perform karo? Not just what cricket, about right? much more? What about much more in terms of infrastructure? I, I know there has been a you know an equal pay movement in Hollywood. Correct. We've seen some Bollywood stars also talk about it from time to time. Was there were there noises of this kind among female cricketers? I haven't. You know, you know by unfortunately, uh, and if it's and India, we're talking about, about, about female attention. cricketers come from very humble backgrounds. Because and attention from is a problem. The yeah. of the country, they barely had a voice. And I yeah. think they've spoken very well with your performance. Yeah. I think yeah. that's that's precisely what you we know, should take uh, and don't cry for equal treatment. Mitali Raj was on my show and yes, she did raise this whole issue about equal pay. But mm. I want to come down to the very basics of it. I would think in our country, there should be no conflict about what has gone down. Why do I say that? Is uh, it's not just politically correct, it's morally, ethically correct as well. Let's just yeah. go down. Before the 83 World Cup, how commercially viable was the Indian men's cricket team? Nothing. Uh, they themselves would come out and say very clearly, and there was a, I, I still remember, uh, uh, you know, right after that, an entire press conference where a couple, they've said that their earnings have risen some, up to some 800% of what it was earlier. The fact I, don't is, I don't think there's any comparison between. No, no, what I, I'll, I'll tell you because the, you've got to invest. You have to invest in a team for yeah. it to show results. And it takes yeah. time. Yeah. To say that, no, one of the biggest arguments is that BCCI is ultimately a commercial outfit. So if BCCI uh, sees X number of players, they might be made yeah. more commercially yeah. viable, they will pay them more. But 
this team plays for India. Absolutely. This Absolutely. team plays for India and I am sorry you cannot have a team which is a men's team where you pay them phenomenally more than your women's team that plays the jersey is India. Now, interesting. It's the same about it. Do we look at Shem? Is it just about India? Because if we actually look at an international level, I'm pretty sure the women investors of other countries also are not paid at par with the male cricket. That is true. All over the globe there is disparity. So we should give great credit and kudos to the BCCI, Jaisha who's uh, really at ended least. this kind of uh, discriminatory practice, at least with the T20 series and a few the, others, right? The, but let me quickly add, Mithali Raj is now doing advertisements yeah. and she's, she's on several ads. That itself shows that there's already a big boost. Commercially, the men's team will always career. make more. Commercially, is, in terms of yeah. endorsements. They that that because they, that's because they draw more crowds, but, ticket sales are higher. But you will have to, in, see, this is, you know, you can either, what? there is a way to approach this. How would they draw more crowds? Because you've built them up exactly. to a level right now, you have to invest in a so team for it to... Uh, the question you still remains, always is it going to money be, on a winning team. No. Is, it go, is it going to be about a cultural shift? Is it going to be about yeah. administrators, uh, you know, reconfiguring yeah. cricket? Is it going to be about industrialists and corporates and sponsors pumping in more money? Because the girls are doing the best they can. Like Nabila and all of us here think they've done fantastically. They've earned this. The decision that's been taken is something that is fair. It's something that should have happened a long time ago. I don't know why it Despite didn't. Despite them earning it. Despite yeah. them earning it. And Despite that's the reason why it's it, yeah. a good thing. But much more needs to be done for women's cricket. It needs to be on par. That gap is too big right and now. And other sports. So we we'll have to see. Absolutely. Uh, uh, Kabaddi, hockey, they get hockey, paid forget about women. Forget about women. Yeah. Yeah. Like the, Men's the hockey or Kabaddi. I'm sure we all remember so, Neil Chetri folding his hands and saying, please come and watch our match. Let's wish the women's team the very best. Congratulations women's on this IPL announcement. Is coming. Yeah. That'll also add and to hopefully, it. this is the beginning of bigger things.